Hi, this is Dr. Karen Gannett. I'm going to show you the locations for the Rest Quiet patch. Some that are in the book and others that are not, that we use as acupuncturists for enabling sleep. The first point is gallbladder one on the right side of the temple. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from the eye backwards until you feel a little depression. And there's a nice little depression here. That's gallbladder one. So that is the first location for the patch. And here I have not taken the half of the adhesive off. Uh, I'm just using masking tape just to show you the location of the patch. But when you use it, you'd normally take just half the adhesive off and stick the sticky side. Uh, I like to stick the sticky side on the inside towards the eye and leave the other part outwards towards the back of the head. The second location is on the foot and it's kidney six. So we're going to go down to the foot now. On the inside of the right ankle, you're going to locate your big ankle bone. And approximately an inch below your ankle bone, towards your, um, the sole of your foot, there's a little depression, and that is kidney six. So again, you would take off half the adhesive and stick the rest quiet patch there on kidney six. So these are the two main locations for the rest quiet patch. If for whatever reason um, it is not helping you, there are alternative locations for the patch. Um, there is one that we use in acupuncture for sleep and that is spleen six. Now spleen six is also on the right ankle. Again, find the top of your ankle bone and measure four finger widths up on the inside of your leg where the fourth finger lands in the middle of your leg, so right behind the bone, right behind, behind the tibialis bone, is spleen six. You can actually put um, the half adhesive of your rest quiet on spleen six. The other location, especially if you have um, very vivid dreams, some people get very vivid dreams, almost like a backlog, um, when they use rest quiet. I have some patients that said they haven't dreamed so much in their life, at least that, as much as they can remember um, uh, since using the rest quiet patch. So if you have very vivid dreams, you may want to use liver three. Now liver three is on the right foot as well, um, between the, the uh, big toe and um, the second toe. You would draw a line up about three finger widths up until you kind of hit bone, where the soft spot kind of um, indents right in front of the, um, the bony parts of the foot and that's liver three so you may place your rest quiet there as well. Now we're going to move up to the arm for the other alternative placements for the rest quiet patch. Now on the right wrist, on the inside of the wrist, there is a point here, heart seven, it's actually on the crease and it's on the pinky side of the wrist. It's a little bit difficult to put the patch right on this wrist crease because it bends. So you will want to put the patch a little higher up from there. So it will cover the heart channel, quite a bit of the heart channel. So heart five to seven. And the last location is here in the back of the head, behind the ear, on the bone behind the ear. And that's the onion point. And that is also used for sleep. These are all the locations for rest quiet patch.